the humble Wigan kebab. I absolutely love these. Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Review Club. We are here in Newmarket at Valley Way Fish and Chip Shop for something very, very special. Now, before I crack on with the review, we've got a sponsor. <laughs> De Havilland and Partners. Cambridge's leading estate agents. If you're a landlord, landowner, property developer, or you're looking to plow some cash into the property game, hit these guys up, send them a message, or if you're watching from anywhere in the UK and need a new mortgage, hit them up. Bosh, thank you for sponsoring another video. Now then, Callum, I've heard big things about this place, mate, and it's not too far from home, is it? No. Nope. Not probably ten, 10 minutes from your house, is it? Literally 10 minutes. Come on, bro. Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Huge piece of cod and chips. Oh. Huge piece of cod and chips. Decent value here as well, mate. That cod, 750 plus the chips. And I've also had to get the infamous Wigan kebab. You know what Wigan kebab is? I'll show you. Buttered bread roll. One pucker pie. Over she goes. Over she goes. The Wigan kebab. I know what you're thinking. That just can't work. It chuffing does. Also, we're not in Wigan. Yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> Bruv, have you ever had one? No. It is so good. Right, you ready? Honestly, bro. The bread roll is fresh. It's spongy. It's yummy. That butter, and then you get that meat and onion. Pucker pie filling, like the pastry, it's just like carbs on carbs. With that meat and gravy in the middle, it just works. Bit of pepper in there. The humble Wigan kebab. I absolutely love these. Callum, let me take those off. How can anyone take us seriously when we like that? I don't think they can, can they? No. Mate, honestly, it's so good. Literally a bread roll and a pucker pie. And some butter. Legit after this review, I'm gonna sling that, or give it away, whatever. I'm gonna munch that. No, you love fish and chips. <laughs> right. Fish and chip time. How much salt and vinegar is good? Let's do vinegar first. Just like, just gotta keep going, ain't ya? Jesus Christ. But you'd need a lot of vinegar, mate. A lot of salt, look at that. Healthy as you like, it's fish and potatoes. Right, Callum, now. Mm, nice. The fish and chip experts out there. What are we looking for? I've got vinegar all up my leg. I love this crown of batter on top. Obviously means it's been cooked hot enough. And yeah, you can see those little pockets of air in there, Ugh. which makes the batter not overdone, tastes very clean, crunchy, and of course, yummy. Wow. That was good. Very nice batter. Very nice batter. Ooh, this could be a good one, mate. Here we go. Let's, uh... Wow, look at that! Come on, bro. Here we go. Fish and chip lovers. If you love fish and chips as much as I, much as I do, oh, share this video right now. We're not at the seaside. Oh wow, that's beautiful. That was absolutely gorgeous. Now, here's a, here's a question for everyone. Everyone watching this now, what do you prefer, cod or haddock? Or, if you're watching from around the world and you don't have cod and haddock, what's your go-to fish in your local, wherever it might be? This could be really interesting to see in the comments right now what people have. I sometimes go cod, sometimes go haddock. It's a fairly even split between the two. Now, looking at this here, slightly wet underneath, but that's okay. Well, it has been sat there for a little while. How much vinegar you put on it? Who do you think the vinegar's gone, gone straight to the bottom? Yeah, probably. Do you know what though? This uh, kind of a bit case-like style around it, crispy and crunchy on top, bit of a hybrid. I am loving this right now.
Might have a new local favourite. Mm. They, uh, you'll vouch me on this. They emailed ages ago about coming here. Never been. Just turned up today. Thought we'd bless them. So if you're watching the new market and you come here, all right, mate. Have ya? Yeah, I've been watching more boarding. Yeah, what? I've literally all day. Have ya? Yeah. I'm not to meet ya. Have you? Did you go here? Yeah. Any good? Best ones around in this well, town. I'm going to be honest, I'm really enjoying it. Oh, yeah. That is delicious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is the best chip shop here. What do you normally have when you go? Cod and chips. Yeah. Cod and chips. Yeah. Curry sauce or gravy or what? And then the best Indians, that one, mine. Is it? Yeah. Where's that then? Just there. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're surrounded by quality. <laughs> What's your name? Tony. Tony. Yeah. Nice one, Tony. Uh, you got, Tony, have you got anything to say to the world? Hello. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. All right, Tony. Uh, I've watched all day. Have you? Nice to meet you, mate. <laughs> Imagine how random that would be, watching our videos. Me and yours uh, too. And walk down to your local shops. It was just me and Callum outside the front just munching out. Come on, bro. That's crazy. Bless up, Tony. Bless up, bro. Nice to meet you. So, Callum, who literally just turned up. When I turned up, she went, oh, God, it's you. He'll be so annoyed. I think the owner's not here today. Never mind. Well, that's what happens when you do an unannounced review. Trading standards turn up, and you get to see how the food really is. The actual food, not what we get if the owner's there and he wants to try and impress you. All right, Callum, one more bite. Not like I need it. Ah, oh, not famous, maybe not, no. No, my friend, they're on the right now and he's searching you up. Um, is, it, is your um, name? It's called Food Review Club. Search up Food Review Club. Yeah, I'm not, I don't really watch YouTube. You're not, no. You do yeah. now though, yeah? I'm gonna TikTok do that, Food yeah. Review Club. What about yeah. TikTok? I watch TikTok. We're on TikTok. We'll, we'll follow you. There we go. Both of you, yeah? <laughs> Two new followers. Thank you. Every little help us, right? Tesco's that, no. Tesco, yeah. <laughs> right, Callum, drink watch, finally. <laughs> it's got you everywhere. <laughs> it's raining fish. We'll do that again. <laughs> That's a bit gross. <laughs> Actually, don't leave it in. <laughs> I've oh. absolutely sprayed you then. I'm sorry, let's do that again. That was gross. Hit me in the head, out. hit me in the leg. <laughs> sorry, mate. That's really bad. You need to start asking for danger money. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck it. Leave it in. Projectile fish. Vimto. They had a nice selection of drinks as well. Oh, very good, mate. Now, Callum, my, my final concluding thoughts are, this has really surprised me, because I'm gonna be brutally honest, I'm not saying it looks like a shit or anything, but it's probably not the sort of fish and chip shop you just like, if you, had, if you had no idea of it, you definitely wouldn't drive past and go, oh, let's go down, it looks cool. It's the sort of place you might even swerve. Unassu it's unassuming. Unassuming, there you go. You're so yeah. articulate these days, Callum. A little bit unassuming. So for us just to turn up, Jess is actually was like, right, go, why don't you go to this place? It's only local. Cool. Get a little cheap local win. Great. For us to turn up today and it be absolutely yummy. Happy. Happy, happy, happy. I hope they're, I hope they're happy with the review. Mm. Right, that's so good. Right, score time now, come on. Time for a score. I think this is a sort of fish and chips you would be more than happy with. Um, 100%. I'm gonna give this a very respectable UK level. Look, we know we're leading the fish and chip game. We know this. This for me is an 8.1. Happy with that, hope they are too. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up to let us know you're enjoying the content. But for now, from me and Callum, that, ladies and gents, was a review. People licking your lips, checking the dips. We're checking out the best of the bunch so you can get your best breakfast, dinner, or lunch. It's Matt D and Jess coming with a food review. We've been traveling, trying to find the best foods for you. Yeah, now that's a review.